we were told that her other dogs had been attacking her. And so when we got her, she did have like evidence of like old scrapes and scratches and bites. When she found that those other dogs were being surrendered, she decided to surrender Hazel as well. Yeah, so I've had dogs pretty much my whole life. And, you know, I actually grew up with little chihuahuas and they were the best. We adopted our first dog and she was rehomed to us. And that kind of sparked like a big, you know, interest in my family in kind of adopting dogs and rescuing dogs. And especially in me, it was something that I thought was really, really cool. I started volunteering with a rescue that our family friends had actually um, been volunteers with and been on the board for for a few years. I love being involved in rescue. It's it's definitely something that I don't plan to ever not be involved in. So we found out in talking with a lot of other people, people with the rescue, the vets, that she is what's considered like a lilac chihuahua or lavender. A lot of animals with like those dilute colors, they're very, very prone to a certain type of alopecia called CDA, which is the color dilution alopecia. And while, you know, it's hard to tell for sure that that's the exact cause, knowing how common it is with dogs of those colors has kind of helped us narrow it down. And the treatment for regular alopecia and CDA is usually the same. The first day, I mean, she was terrified, you know, and we expect that with a lot of our dogs, but it definitely seemed that she was extra terrified. You know, our first night home with us, I mean, she was just shivering. She was really, really shut down. We found pretty quickly that she'd likely never been potty trained. We've had to kind of make that work. And, you know, she's very, very smart. So we've kind of figured out a system for her. But she didn't totally know how to walk on a leash at first. I definitely admire her for how quickly she kind of took on to things, though. She's come a very, very long way in a very short amount of time. It's a complete 180 from how she was when she came home. She is a absolute social butterfly. She's always following you around the house, always wants to, you know, socialize with our other dog. We've been, you know, giving her baths with like uh, skin soothing, you know, uh, shampoos, conditioners. We've just been, you know, making sure that she's comfortable. We've been, you know, trying out different like skin ointments, anything that could kind of help her coat, at least the health of it a little bit. We don't totally expect it to grow back, but we want to keep the, the coat that she does have as healthy as we can and keep her skin just as comfortable as it can be. Adopting dogs with health issues and seeing that you know, they deserve the world. They deserve a loving home just as much as any other dog, and it's just as rewarding.